Really good team. They got a lot of good wins. Uh, they're in top 25 right now. So coming in here, I think it's definitely going to be a fun game. Uh, I think everybody's ready. I think it's going to be packed. So I just think it's great, great basketball. You know, just after, after your game against San Jose State, where you guys kind of, you know, you had to come from behind at the end. You really had to play a complete game there at the end. You know, what did mm -hmm. you guys learn from that? And how does that kind of help you? Uh, I think that second half, we were just playing uh, with everything we had. You know, we really wanted to win, and I think it really showed. Um, our defensive presence definitely took another level. Um, offensively, we were, just, we were just playing with force, and that's uh, something we've been talking about all week is playing with force, you know, trying against the, the paint with two feet and just uh, going to get some offensive boards. So I think just our, our will to win really showed up in that second half, and I think how, that's how we had to start the games uh, on Tuesday. You mentioned that defensive effort, and I know that's kind of what you like to you know, put your bread and butter behind, you know, just what did it take there, you know, the final five minutes, not allowing them to get a field goal, you know, especially after, um, you know, they had been able to pretty much score pretty easily on you earlier. Yeah, right. Uh, I think it was all mindset, honestly. I feel like, uh, you know, those last five minutes came, I felt everybody that touched the floor and everybody who subbed in at all times was just like, we're going to get a stop. And that's, I think, is a, a big mindset that we had to carry on, you know, through the rest of conference play. Oh man, it's amazing. Um, kind of feels like history, and I really think we can keep this thing going. What, uh, what do you think led to that? Um, just pride of you know saying we don't lose at home before every game, and um, wanting to show out in front of our house, uh, our fans, and protect the house and uh, keep the X protected. Knowing how hard it's going to be, I'm sorry if you answered this, but just all the road venues you'll have to go to still mm -hmm. coming up, starting you know Friday. I mean, how important is protecting your home court, and when you get a chance like a, one of these top teams coming in here, uh, how important is it to take advantage? Oh, it's everything, you know. Um, it's obviously hard to win on the road. We have a new saying, you know, men win on the road. So every time we get on that bus or get on that plane to go to another place, um, we're thinking we really got to attack them hard. Um, and, you know, we're thinking the same thing when they come to our place. Like, we know it's going to be a dog fight, but they better really be ready if they want to win this game coming to our place. Yeah, I mean, just, just knowing, like I said, knowing what you said there, the challenge is on the road. When you do get them at home, you know, those – Oh yeah, it, I mean, it feels almost every time it is a must win. You know, um, those are very important games, especially you know, uh, you have everything in your favor. You know, you have the fans. You know, have that home home court advantage. So um, it's just definitely important to protect the X and you know win every game at home. Obviously, you know, played in some crazy venues in the Big Twelve and stuff. Uh, what would, what's it like when when you know, the San Diego State game last year when you've been here for an extra mile is packed and loud and it's a special you know, environment. What, how's that compare and what's that like compared to something you've been in? Uh, I think uh, we do it here uh, almost as good as any other place. You know, we really fill it up, especially, uh, you know, coming to conference play. We had a lot of big games last year. We were talking about SDSU. That was a big one. I think um, I think the fans are ready for, you know, a couple more home games like that where we really pack it out and it's almost sold out. Um, I think we get into our zoom action. And he gets at the top of the key, and uh, you know we have such good shooters that they can't really leave us. And he's really hard to guard one on one. You know I know this from practice and just being around. Like you think you can stop him, but you can't. So once he gets that ball and he faces up, it's pretty much attack time for him. He's gonna go get a bucket or get fouled. And you've been on a tear. I think you've scored double digit in eight straight games. Uh, you know has Stanley has Omar's presence kind of freed you up to kind of do more and. and just have a better offensive year? Oh, definitely. Over the course of games, you know, teams will have started to double team a little bit later, but you know, now obviously he's put, you know, the whole conference and everybody on notice that he's a problem. So uh, I think they're going to start to double him even more. It's just going to free up everybody else. Are you guys working through the post more this year? And even like we're seeing he post up a little more and Tyson and obviously what uh, Omar's doing. Has that just been the, what you needed to do to win? Was that an effort? Am I seeing things? Or it seems like that you guys are maybe posting up a little more. Uh, it's definitely always emphasis for us to get to the paint ever since last year, but I think we just have a, a really dominant um, post presence this season. You know, uh, Deggy, Cam, Omar, Mo, all guys that can, you know, go get their own buckets and create for others out the post. So uh, it's definitely a bit of emphasis for us because uh, every time, you know, we get the ball in the paint, we're above one point possession. So it's good for us. It looked like you had 80 some in the second half and made it a little bit difficult. What's the challenge if you're assigned to take somebody that? Even instead of particular time during the game, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, it definitely is hard, you know, especially when they can shoot too. Um, you can't be too far back, so you just got to really take the assignment personal. And uh, sometimes, you know, they're gonna make shots, and you just got to say, hey, 
uh, let's go get a bucket and then try again. You know, next possession, I'm going to really try and get a stop this time. So. I'm sure you were asked about Luke Stevens. I mean, guy averaging over 17 points, but also seven assists. Uh, mm -hmm. All-time leading scorer there, assist guy. I mean, what, uh, how special is he when it comes to players in this league? Oh, yeah, obviously, you know, he's really getting to a bucket right now. A very good player. Um, I think everybody has a lot of respect for him, um, and that's why we're going to guard him really hard when we play him. And how much is it also that like, you can't just focus on him because they got three or four other guys with double figures as well? Yeah, they obviously have a lot of other good players too, but uh, I think a main part of it for us is definitely going to be, you know, Steven's awareness and uh, not just one guy guarding him, but everybody guarding him, you know, being in the gaps and being ready to help. And uh, we're just going to have to play hard and scramble. What does make him so special? I mean, just, like I said, is it just the, some of the passes or his eyes, or what do you notice in terms of uh, how he's able to get over seven assists? Uh, I think, first of all, he's just a really good three-level scorer, um, which, you know, obviously makes everybody have to pay attention to him. And sometimes you, you might start doubling him or uh, you have so much awareness for him that two guys end up going on him. He's just really good at finding the next guy. Can you go off quick, too? I, mean, I think I remember one of the games last year, he only had like four or five against you guys at halftime or something. You look up and he's got 17 or 18. Yeah, score pretty quick. Uh, definitely. So that's why I think, you know, guarding him, locking him up is going to be a big key to win this game.